It's Christmas. But you know, I can't fully immerse myself in the spirit when I'm playing classic Sonic back to back to back because there are no Christmas zones. Ice cap doesn't count. That's not cozy at all. I have a bone to pick with Santa. He hasn't given us one. I asked him for one. A lot. And luckily, I have a magic ring that can take us anywhere. Oh wow, look at that. It's well themed. Uh, might have been a bit inaccurate. Uh, this way. Well, this clearly isn't going to work. I'm going to head back. Now that's a good sign. Santa. <laughs> Oh, my boy. I thought you'd come around sooner or later. Whoa. You sound awesome. Welcome to the workshop. So, Santa, why didn't you ever give me a Christmas zone in the classic games, dude? Like, what the hell? I wrote you like 50 le- They're the best. Oh, oh, listen. Santa doesn't make those decisions. However, I did find a way eventually, and I granted it in Sonic 4 Episode 2. Ah, uh, Sonic 4? Well, they don't really count. Can we join forces and- <laughs> I can't do anything about Sonic forces. No, no one can do anything about that. I mean, can we collaborate right now and finally create a Christmas Sonic Zone? I do the pixel art and you inspire me. Oh, do I really? No, I mean you can inspire me right now. Okay then, let's yeah. do it. Alright, so I'm starting off drawing some snow for the floor, kind of experimenting with snow styles. There's a thousand different ways to draw snow, and I'm just going to pick one and go with it. Before starting to draw this tree, I didn't really know <laughs> if it was going to look any good. I just thought it should be a tree with snow on it, and I wanted it to look kind of realistic because I think I think the more stylized I make this tree, the less cozy and Christmassy it's going to look. But slowly it came together, and I was just kind of shocked at how good it looked. I think this is my favorite tree that I've ever drawn. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Thank you, yeah, I like it. Of course, I have to make one that's decorated and Christmassy. I like that. Gotta get that star on top. It's very important, although it was a bit too big. I was really wondering what the floor should be, but I decided this is gonna be outside. It's just gonna be dirt with snow on it and some grass. You know, basic, but relatable uh, in a way. Had the idea of having the grass poking through the snow. I don't know if it turned out amazingly, but uh, I, I think it's nice. Got those lights. I wanted some kind of big, impressive ice sculpture, and I just decided the easiest thing to make an ice sculpture out of would just be a big snowflake. Just like outside of the workshop, I'm going to put some large candy canes out. I really want to give it a cozy feel, so I think street lamps are a great way to do that. Any kind of lights, really. At this point, I'm just getting all the variations of the ground. I decided we need some more fancy candy canes. That's exactly what I was thinking. And here I am manually creating slopes because I don't want to open Photoshop and use the skew tool. Who has time for that? I really want to have two different types of terrain for Sonic to walk on just for some visual variety because looking at mud and grass all the time isn't that fun. So some kind of like roller coaster esque kind of slopes, I don't know. Sorry I keep pausing, Santa keeps giving me cookies and it's ridiculous. I, I've eaten like 15 cookies. I won't say no to more. 
Hope you love it. Naturally, I've got to have gifts around, you know, it's kind of a big part of this holiday. I'm imagining that Sonic can, can jump on these and break them. So I'm creating kind of broken versions. What about a big ball? That's a good idea, I like it. So I had to draw one enemy, this enemy is going to be like a robotic snowman. I imagine it would like roll around on its bottom half. I don't know, maybe that's all it does. Hmm, I like where this is going. Oh, by the way, Santa, where are the goblins? You mean the elves. Do I? What's that? Oh, oh that's a very good nice. idea. My little penguin friend just suggested that we make the background basically the same as where I am right now. And so that's the, that's the idea here. We're gonna make kind of a snowy scene with a really bright, crazy, colorful sky. It's gonna make it kind of magical. So I want these mountains to be hit with harsh light. So, you know, the dark side's gonna be blue and cold and the, the side that's being hit by the light is gonna be quite bright and orange. Oh, oh, looks just like home. Adding some very basic clouds here, just kind of wispy and small, but I think it really adds a kind of a calming effect to this, otherwise it might look kind of harsh. But I like how this is turning out, it's great. Really getting that harsh lighting on the mountain, I think that's important. Stars make every sky better, they really do. Maybe not daytime skies though, I mean, I mean that probably doesn't fit. Now I'm just shading in snow and ice. You can imagine that bright spot in the background is Santa's workshop. Look at that, it's everything I've ever wanted. What a great look. <laughs> You know what, Santa? Just like you, I want to do some giving this year, so... Everyone watching, you can download this entire tile set and the tile set from Halloween last year in the description below. Give credit if you use it, but you can use it for whatever you want. Right, I guess I better get back. Hey, where's the ring? Oh, 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 it seems you only had one ring. You'll have to borrow one of my magical slaves. You've got more than one? Holy crap. Impressive. Whoa. Have a safe trip. Oh, Bye. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. What a hole.